blissful morning everyone. So, ang topic natin ngayon ay ang cognitive behavior therapy in treatment of bipolar disorder. So, ito ay evidence-based at share ko sa inyo kung ano yung process. CBT, Treatment of Bipolar Disorder by Kadir Osdel, Isaac Goodhart, Mehmet Hakan, Dor Kapar. So in here, ang CBT sa Treatment of Bipolar Disorder ay evidence-based practice na psychology. So ang topic natin ngayon ay nahati sa apat. Number one, assessment. Number two, psychoeducation. Number three, interventions. Number four, relapse and recurrence prevention. So, number one, assessment. To clarify diagnosis and to investigate additional diagnosis. So, meron tayong mga assessment tools. Ito yung semi-structured interview for the SM5, mini international neuropsychiatric interview, like depression inventory, young mania rating scale, cognitive distortion scale, dysfunctional attitude scale, social comparison scale, Back scale for suicide ideation by your sentence completion test. So, kailangan mo na, may, meron tayong process of protocol sa CBT. So, assessment sessions, one to two sessions siya. So, ang substations niya, making a diagnosis, symptom profile and severity assessment, creating formulation of a biopsychosocial approach. Session two, uh, one to two sessions ng psycho- education. So, ito yung about sa nature and symptoms ng disease, na narrate yung treatment and therapy model through the formulation of biopsychosocial framework established in the assessment phase. So, interventions, normally 20 to 25 sessions. So, depende sa nature ng bipolar disorder. So, meron tayong behavioral intervention, cognitive intervention, teamwork, skill development. And lastly, one to two sessions ng relapse or recurrence prevention. So, importante din na compliance sa medication, tapos identification ng early signs, regulation and daily rhythm, and set monitoring. So, number two naman, psychoeducation. So, nahati ito sa dalawang Part two, first, in-explain yung nature ng diseases, ano yung nature ng bipolar, tsaka nagbibigay ng information about its causes. And number two, i-convey yung CBT model from a biopsychosocial perspective. Number three, intervention. So, meron tayong iba't ibang uh, interventions. Number one, mood monitoring. So, ito yung mood tracking chart for patients na may bipolar disorder. So, nandito yung day 1 hanggang 30 for the whole month. Tapos, iterate mo yung mood mo kung 8 yung highest, 0 yung lowest, yung anxiety level mo, comfort dis discomfort, anger, amount of sleep hours, kung ilang oras, receive medication, plus dose yung mga other na na-receive mo. Number two, activity planning, interventions. Kasi, minsan, yung willingness natin para makapag coordinate sa CBT ay nare-reinforce. So, yung behaviors natin na in line with life goals natin ay nare-reinforce din. So, nagiging cycle siya. Pero namang moment na sa depression naman, yung unwillingness natin na nare-reinforce siya. At dahil doon, nagiging avoidant tayo sa pag-participate sa psychotherapy na CBT. So, nare-reinforce doon and continued yung cycle ng depression. Number three, sleep-related behavioral intervention. So, meron tayong mga recommendation for sleep hygiene. So, uh, tulad ng establish a routine for sleep. Tapos, uh, kung nahilapin ka matulog, change ka ng sleeping place at setting ng sleep. So, lipat-lipat ka ng kama sa ilang araw. Tapos, kailangan wake up ka ng time na pinlan mo. Tapos, uh, avoid me, my stimulants tulad ng tea or coffee o kaya heavy exercise or drinking alcohol. Tapos, uh, do not watch TV. Uh, tsaka, possible din yung huwag ka mag-take ng snap sa afternoon. Tapos, uh, matulog ka sa dark and slightly cool room para mag-increase yung melatonin situation. 
huwag mo naisipin yung maabot sa mga insomnia, kung ano yung mga consequences, and uh, mag, okay lang super mag, uh, isip about sa mga possible na mangyari tomorrow. Kung meron ka mga ano, uh, plans, mga half an hour lang, magawa mo na siya, tapos kaya, kaya to skip na. So, meron din tayong behavioral interventions kapag nagmanic yung isang tao o hype. Manic. So, meron dito tayong activity schedule. So, ito chart ng activity. Period, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Tapos, yung oras. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, ipaplat mo dyan ko na yung activity schedule mo. Tapos, number two, pag hypomanic man or manic, increase yung amount ng sleep. Kasi, syempre, restless sila. So, hindi na sila katulog. Tighten yung money management. Kasi, minsan, pag manic, Grabe, gumasta, nagiging positive buying. Tapos, slowing down, important decisions. So, pag manic kasi or hypomanic, pabigla-bigla ng decision na pwede niyang i-regret in the future. Slowing down, impulsive behavior. Sa limba, parang pag-sex, eh, bati kung sino sin- sin- mabay at lalaki, ganyan. Ano mga impulsive na decisions na nananakit, ganyan. O ano pa man. Stimulus regulation. So, hanggat maaari, huwag super, ano, highly stimulant yung mga o bagay sa paligid niya. Regulate lang. Huwag puro party ng party. Kailangan, ano lang siya, i-regulate mo yung mga stimulus kasi baka mag-trigger ng manic or hypomanic. Tapos, pumunta naman tayo sa behavioral res- methods in the remission period. So, sa remission period, pwede natin gamitin itong mindfulness training and relaxation techniques. So, ang mindfulness mostly aims sa increasing ability na tingnan natin yung internal experiences natin from the outside. While relaxation naman, useful siya sa controlling physical tension and dysphoria. So, sa cognitive intervention naman, so the individual, matuto siyang maghanda ng thoughts niya about the reality or rationality, appropriateness, functionality, at maging more realistic siya, appropriate and functional alternative sa kanyang mga ginagawa during remission period. So, uh, working about sa repetitive thinking patterns para makita mo kung ano yung mga ruminations and worries mo. So, meron tayong thought record and survey form. So, dito, nakasulat yung event time, please and emotional or psychological, physiological reactions and intensity, 0 to 100. Triggered thoughts, level of convincing, 0 to 100. Behavior that is wanted or performed, rationality test, appropriate test, and functionality test. Ito pa ang sulat niyo pa, alternative thought and behavior and outcome. So, in here, ito yung repetitive thought out workout form. So, date and time. Ito yung what is the intrusive thought, question or image, content of this uh, repetitive thought, how long na uh, yung repetitive thinking process to eat. What are your feelings about the subject you are thinking about? What was your reaction while thinking? And yung result ng action na yun. So, interventions naman for relapse prevention. First domain. So, first, I reinforce mga newly learned cognitive and behavioral techniques para ma-apply ng patients sa mga similar situations. And second domains, para ma-prevent your recurrence, it would be appropriate to provide ng psycho-education at the end and treatment process. So, conclusion, as evidence based on CBT, so it includes assessment, psychoeducation, methods for mood episodes, and preventing recurrences. So, pinaka importante ang psychoeducation and the most evidence based part ng process na to, both na beginning ng therapy and the stage of relapse prevention. Thank you so much. So, in here, uh, pwede nyo i-click yung link para sa references and yung seminar certificate. Paki-edit na lang yung name. And at the same time, tignan ako kung ano yung mga goals na pwede na pamigay. And follow me sa lahat ng social media platforms. Thank you so much. Bye!